Good morning. We're at Queen of the Universe Cemetery, and as you're probably aware, beginning on June 6th, we are allowed to return to Sunday Masses. We thought we'd come here to Queen of the Universe this morning to give you an idea of the way you need to come to Mass if you so desire on the 6th of June. Our 4 p.m. Mass will be celebrated here outside for the remainder of the summer, weather permitting, here at Queen of the Universe. We need to remember that even though we are in the yellow phase, we must practice social distancing, we must wear face masks, we need to be cautious. There was a church, two churches, non-Catholic churches out in California, which opened their doors for Mother's Day. Over a hundred people became ill with the coronavirus and people thought it was a nice gesture to go to church. The spread of coronavirus is still possible until we find a vaccine. Therefore, Bishop Schlert has lifted the obligation to attend Sunday Mass until we go into the green phase, which means there is no obligation for you to go to Mass during the yellow phase. There is no sin. However, maybe some of you might desire to be able to once again be able to attend Mass and to receive the Blessed Sacrament in the Eucharist. Here at Queen of the Universe, we will have the 4 p.m. Mass on a Saturday. In the event that it is raining right before Mass, or if there's a serious threat of rain during Mass, there will be no Mass that Saturday. You are not permitted in the cemetery until 3.30. This is to enable volunteers from the parish and we do need volunteers to help us make sure that we safely can celebrate Mass. This is no longer a typical Sunday where you can come to Mass five minutes before or five minutes after. We need to be safe. We need to follow so therefore We've decided that we would do a run through this morning of what needs to be done if you decide to attend Mass here at Queen of the Universe on Saturdays beginning June 6th. When you arrive at the cemetery for Mass on a Saturday, please arrive about 3.30 in the afternoon. Do not come earlier because we will not have staff available until then and nobody will be permitted in the cemetery. When you arrive at the cemetery, a parish volunteer will be here at the flagpole who will direct you where to go. Parish volunteers will be stationed along the roadway to guide you where you need to go to park your car. <laughs> when you arrive where you can park your car, please keep your car on the roadway. Do not pull your car onto the grass unless told by one of the parking lot attendants. At this point, you will need to disembark your car to go where Mass will be celebrated. Before you leave your car, you need to wear your mask and you also will need to bring a lawn chair. We will celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass in front of the St. Joseph statue in the new section of the cemetery which in a few years will be developed. The St. Joseph statue is in memory of the James family, donated by Mr. Frank James and his sons David and, 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 and Donald. Please bring your lawn chair and socially distant in the grass. That means you need to be six feet away from other people unless they're members of your family. 
we will celebrate Mass in this area and then at the conclusion of Mass we will have the distribution of Holy Communion. At the conclusion of Mass the faithful may receive Holy Communion if they so desire. Because of the fear of the spread of the pandemic, no Eucharistic minister during the Yellow Phase will be permitted to assist the priest in the distribution of Holy Communion. What will take place for that distribution is I will be standing very close to this spot along the road. As one car pulls up, I will give them Holy Communion and then we will have, once again, volunteer parishioners who will direct you out of the cemetery. They will make sure that you can pull out on the Peach Mountain Road in a safe fashion. Why it is not an obligation on your part, for the safety of your priest, we would ask you during the yellow phase to consider receiving Holy Communion in your hand. Remember the coronavirus is found in the mouth, in saliva, and in the nose. So if you would accidentally spit on the priest, sneeze on the priest, or, air dro or water droplets come out of either your nose or your mouth, and you could possibly have the virus, you threaten to contaminate your priest, and at this time, there will be no priest available until he either socially isolates himself for 14 days or if he should contract the coronavirus there will be no priest. With that thought in mind please do not come to mass ill. If you have a fever, if you have a sore throat, if you have pink eye, all the other symptoms that are associated with the coronavirus if you've been exposed to someone who possibly could have had the coronavirus. Please do not jeopardize your fellow parishioners and your priests by coming to church. This is either here at the Queen of the Universe or in the main body of the church. We are having mass outside here at the Queen because it is in a fresh air environment which is a lot safer than being contained within a building. Now, the only detriment to having Mass here at the Queen, one is the fact that if there is bad weather, we can't have Mass in the rain. And therefore, there will be no Mass that weekend. The other detriment is that why Queen of the Universe is probably one of the most beautiful Catholic cemeteries in Schuylkill County. It is very expansive. So therefore, there will be much walking to get to the St. Joseph statue where Mass will be. Especially if you are not fortunate enough to be at one of the first cars in line to park closest to the statue. If you have problems walking, if you have a heart condition, if you have asthma, this is not the place to come to attend Mass. But yet it is the safest place. But we also must make you realize that if you decide to come to Mass here at the Queen, there will be a lot of walking to get to where Mass is and then back to your car. There'll be time needed to get to where Mass is, and there will also be time as we give Holy Communion to each car as it leaves. We will do an abbreviated Mass. My homilies will be much shorter than the usual 10 to 12 minutes. Here at the Queen will be probably minimal singing but that still means that we need everybody to be patient. Remember your reason and your desire for coming to Mass. It is to be in the presence of the Lord. So if you get a temper, you have an attitude, you become impatient, what good does that do? 
So we ask you, please, why we want to provide this opportunity for you. We have many safety concerns that need to be attended to. We hope to see you here at the Queen for Mass. If not, Mass will be offered on Sunday mornings at the usual times of 8.30 and 10.30. However, stricter social guidelines will be enforced at the Mass at St. Clair of Assisi Church than here. In a follow-up video, we will then explain the social guidelines required to attend Mass at St. Clair of Assisi. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Please pray for me and please be patient.